Hello, hi, I am Patricia McNeely. I'm a Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well. So in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about what this energy means as we come into new moon energy. We're having Venus station. It's a little bit, it's reminding me of like a boat coming into port, but where things slow down and you know, you have to dock, you have to, you know, hook something up, but you're taking some cargo and you're going to take off again. And how do you know the timing of some things? Okay. You're going to know it through your body. So some of you are feeling this and this subject of this is cosmic level healing, cosmic healing and love making. Okay. I couldn't fit all the words on there. Love making cosmic healing. You are going to the new level. There is a brand new level. So if you've attended some of my webinars, you've seen my depiction of this. You've seen me sort of outline it on a, um, in an artistic way to show you. But some of you are feeling this. And not only are you feeling pushed, you might be feeling sort of a push from the universe, but you're not sure what you're being pushed about or for. And it gets a little bit hard to discern. For many people, there is an entire dimension falling away from you. And this is where it gets weird because it will have to do with your cosmic healing. You have to participate in this. Okay. So it happens somewhat by default, but it also happens with you being active and proactive about it. And it's a bit like falling into a crevice and making a mad scramble for your life to get a foothold. Okay. Why? Because it's a little bit different than that uh, energy that, you know, people might call O oh, tower energy. That's when they start to feel the foundation rock. Now it's not only been rocking, it's time for actions, but the energy is weird right now, okay? So the energy is a bit unbalanced and yet it's stabilizing so that you can see what it is you need to attend to. That's a big part of this. Did anyone get raptured yet? Okay, what does it feel like? Is that what you want? Is that what you're here for? So there's a lot of talk about what October is going to be about. October is going to be about the other person. Now, a lot of you, that's going to be music to your ears. You're going to be saying, oh my God, it's about the other person. Finally. Yes, it is. Okay. You're still a part of it. So you will still feel some things. And that's where it gets hard to discern because you may feel some things where you say, hey, didn't I already do this? Well, the answer is yes, but still time to be proactive. And you might be helping with say some percentage, but you still have to help. You still have to do some things. You're going to see the death throes of many types of relationships. These relationships will have a lot to do with financial agreements of some kind. It could be inheritances. It could be trust. It could be custody agreements. It could be housing agreements. It can be um, things where it's a relationship that starts to feel more like a business partnership. And it's going to affect a lot of longer-term relationships and long-term marriages. So I've talked about this previously in my Divine Marriage video and in several webinars. What do you do if you or your twin are already married? So while many people will look and say, well, I want those death throws to happen, they're very thrown off when it starts happening to them. And if it starts happening to your other half, it's going to affect you. That's going to be you making that leap of faith with everything trying to feel like it's dragging you down. Okay. How do you navigate this energy? I'm here to help you with that. And yes, how I help is in my classes where we have a lengthier time and you're able to practice and you're able to get some feedback. And no, sorry, I'm not saying everything on the videos. There's a lot of people that, you know, experience something and maybe they're going off half cocked. I have solid stuff that gets results. Okay, it's not to criticize other people, but 
I have been not only doing this for several years, we have a whole new batch of people this year. I helped people last year. What you're seeing this year is a proliferation of stuff and information, and it's hard to sift through, okay? It's like going to a Chinese restaurant when you want a pizza and you say, hey, I really want this. Well, why are you going elsewhere? Come to where it is twin flame specific. That is what I have. I want to empower you. So the death throes of many types of relationship, okay? When it comes to you two being a twin flame, there's things that both of you will be breaking up. For one of you, it might be a long-term relationship. For another one, it might be a job. And yet it's still a breakup and it's still a death throw. You might be struggling or feeling like you're struggling to survive and saying, hey, wait a minute. Didn't we leave 3D? Didn't we leave that survival level? Oh yeah, you're going to a whole new level. That's why, okay? That's why some of the same old things aren't going to be in place. That's you leaving an entire dimension absolutely entirely. And it can feel like that. It can feel like streams and streams of stuff through your body. And it gets alarming for people. You also may have your cosmic body memories, your star memories. A lot of people having memories of star systems, spaceships, aliens, invasions, some of the things that have happened. You might dream it. You might see it. You might recall it. If it was a part of your actual experience, you may recall it. A lot of people are waiting for something. Now, a lot of what has happened in the cosmos has left people with a deep sense of abandonment. That too will come out of you. And there's reasons for that. It may mean you are quite literally left in a place. Everyone else got off the planet or were evacuated and you weren't. And that might sound very mean to say it, but that's how deep some of this goes. It goes way back. The good news is, it, we're, you're at the time to have it get healed, to start the healing process. Do you have food, food or salt cravings? That too is coming up right now. And there are reasons for that because of the parts of your body that it affects. Do your children seem to be having breakdowns or highly emotional especially if they're going through puberty. So this is one of the ways to know that if you are coming into physical union with your twin, your children will be getting themselves ready. Get some help for your children, okay? Don't try to wing it alone. Don't try to ignore it or deny it. Get some help. I have a child. I've been through it with my child, and I know some of the things to do, but I do it with guidance as well for the child. There are people that specialize in this. I specialize in the metaphysical aspects of the unification, okay, which means union, okay? A lot of people are saying, well, physical union is happening in October, okay? There's another way to know this if you're going to be in union, and it may or may not be October, but you are intended to be in union. Wake ups. Are you being woken up at night and you cannot go back to sleep? You wake up at one o'clock, you wake up at midnight, hard for you to get back to sleep. Why? Okay. It's not just because your twin is trying to talk to you. No, I know what that is. I know how it goes. I know the state, uh, the stages of that as to what it means. And we talk about that. I, talk, I teach about it in my classes, and I also talk about it during my sessions. I also know what to do about it. So while you might try to glean through what you can, like you're saying, well, let's see what this, you know, what's on this uh, index card. Oh, yeah, that says that, and this says that. Okay, some of that might get you by for a while. But I'm going to tell you something about this energy. Okay. There are concerns about children because this is one of the things besides money that will actually impede people in the death throes of some of their relationship agreements or soul contracts or karmic agreements or karmic contracts, whatever you call it, okay? There will be death throes of many of those types of relationships. 
Children is one of the concerns. Sometimes people get afraid, are they abandoning their children? Will they be, you know, somewhat abandoning if they do certain things? The short answer is no, especially if that's your heart's desire. Now, if you as a parent need to get healthy, there may be things that happen for you, okay, which this is where it gets weird. It may not look like what you need right now to your human mind. However, from a higher perspective, it may be exactly what you need. And sometimes those things turn into a blessing in disguise. How do you know? Well, the only real way to know is by what you feel. But if your mind is scattered, if your mind is running 240 miles an hour in the wrong direction, trying to figure this out, come to me and let me help you so that we can get it focused and you can feel and you can not only get clear, clear some things, because you are clearing layers and layers of history. People talked about this last year. They talked about it's like peeling an onion. Well, for a lot of you, this is it. This October, this is the very thing that you wished for, except it doesn't look like how you wanted it to look. Which brings me to the other subject. Have you been envisioning your future success without paying attention to the small details? Okay, you are all things large and small. Sometimes children are part of those small details. Your financial relationships, and people didn't like me saying that in the last video. I don't know who they're sponging off of, but they didn't like saying that they'll have to pay bills. You'll still have to pay bills. Yes, you will. I'm going to say it again. You might as well be sensible about it. You might as well let your higher self and your twin flame help you with that. How does it play out? That's the scary thing. So a lot of those things that people are, you know, being an ostrich about and saying, no, don't, please don't tell me I have to pay bills. Yeah, nobody really likes to have to do that and says, oh, hey, but think about yourself getting paid. Do you want to get paid? Do you want to earn? Do you, you know, are you a professional that wants someone to, you know, honor, you know, that financial agreement with you? You know, consider it, you know, as yourself. This is hard for people to do. And sometimes people have found, found someone to sponge off of or they may not realize that they're doing it, okay? They may not realize that their person that helps them actually isn't supposed to continue helping ad nauseum all the way, you know, till the end. Those kind of agreements and relationships will go into a death throw at some point. Some of this reminds me of, there's sort of this old joke of, you know, person who is in their house experiencing a flood and they pray to God for help. And they finally are standing on their roof. And there's a rowboat that comes along and says, hop in, they say, hop in the boat. Come on, we'll help you. We'll save you. No, 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 keep going. God's going to rescue me. Okay. And another one comes along. Same thing. No, 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 keep going. Go on your rowboat. God's going to rescue me. A helicopter comes. They say the same thing. God's going to rescue me. But what they don't realize is, God just sent three forms of help that they didn't know right in that moment. That was how the help was coming. So while this is a joke, it's an analogy of what do you do and how can you recognize the things you should jump on? Okay, because this is different. Many of you wanted a new life. Well, the new life is here. Okay, so it's like if you took someone with cancer and you said, let's get all the cancer out, but we're going to leave one tumor in you. How's that? And you would say, no, get it all out. Get all the poison out. Get it all out. I, I want it cleared out. I don't want to live with poison or toxins or vermin. But some people don't know, and they don't know it's a new life. Because once that person gets all the toxin out, what do they tell you? They say, make a new life. Address every part of you, your spiritual part your mental part, mind, body, spirit, okay? Mind, body, and spirit are only three parts of you. You have other subtle bodies. You have a causal body. You have an emotional body. You have a secondary causal body, which is for the things you need to manifest. So those are the things that I cover, and I have ways to get your channels open because 
Your channels are how you circulate this love between each other. So there's going to be some weird things. So if you're expecting success without doing the boring hard work, I'm sorry, but some of this is actually boring and tedious. Okay. But you can also say that about children. There's times when children are so much fun and exciting or business. Your business is so fun and exciting and it really doesn't deplete you, but there's boring and tedious parts of it you have to do. Okay. There's teaching a child to eat, teaching a child to potty train, teaching a child to walk. Sometimes these are exciting and sometimes it, it can be mundane and tedious. Okay. You have to pay attention to the mundane because that is a part of the elemental plane here. This is where your body is attached. So you can't be all highfalutin on, you know, over here without paying attention to other things or getting angry about it. Okay. This is another thing that's going to come up. People will feel triggered, but it'll be different. It won't be with the same intensity as last year. How do you know some of these death throws? Some of it's very subtle. Sometimes it can be as subtle as, hey, um, I want to initiate this new activity, but my partner's not on board with it. They are resisting change. Okay. I've got all these inspirations. I just know this would be so great. Why isn't it matching up to me? Do you know how to pay attention to the subtleties of the clues that are there? Okay. How would you discern this? It's going to be through your body. Now, I'm going to say something else, too. For a lot of you who feel like you've done the work, and I can vouch for this, there really is no such thing as resting on your laurels. There is such a thing as getting your stuff ready and then maintaining. So even though you may have said, well, you know, I've done the work. I've done the inner child work. I've transformed. Okay, you have to maintain. Okay, you're not losing ground. Like I said in my last video, you've come a long way, baby. Okay, but if one of you is having the love bipolars, pay attention because that's not how you're supposed to live. That's not really how anybody is intended to live. Not really, not, not going forward. Not for your new life, not in the new level. So some of the stuff we're not carrying forward, it's entirely new. And that dimension, okay, the fourth dimension, leaving the fourth dimension, I did an entire uh, multiple series webinar on that, of how it affects you, how weird it is. And yes, you miss things, okay, that's, that's a part of it. You know, so it's a little bit like saying, will I ever drink again? Okay, you may not drink, but yes, you're going to miss some of the camaraderie. You might miss aspects of it that were light and lovely. So the heaviness tends to go, but then you get rid of other stuff. And this is alarming for some people who have been hanging their hat on that and saying, but this is how it's supposed to be. Why is it changing on me? A lot of times we don't like change. A lot of times we talk out of both sides saying, the evolution and the shift and it's here. But when it actually entails real change, you know, we, we sometimes hesitate. Okay. Even that hesitation has some origins at the cosmic level where you could genuinely say, Hey, I've been burned before. I've been like, how do I trust this time? How do I know that that same old thing that happened way back isn't going to happen again. Like, oh, I just don't know about it. Okay. Yeah. And you still, and then you're saying, oh, I don't know. Do I take the leap of faith? Of course you do, because that's who you are. Yes. You leap blindly into love. Yes, you do. So this is a part of how, you know, let's say, nuanced it is at times and how new you are expected to be. You're not really the same old person. And a lot of times you'll look and you'll say, gosh, I wish my twin could lose that old persona. 
Well, they are, but it's sort of, you know, a delicate process because do you really want them to have a nervous breakdown? No, you really don't because honestly, that will throw you off. You want this to be as sweet and gradual with a way of nurturance and to pay attention to yourself, okay? That is something that is misunderstood out there. Just as much as twin flame is said to be a concept. It's like saying love is a concept. You can have the word love and say like, oh, I, I just, I want to be in love. And people will say to you, oh, it's overrated. You get hurt. You get people that screw you. You get people that use you. Okay, that's their experience. And yet it needs to go. Is it a concept? No, you felt it. You felt it and it was really real. Am I really a twin flame? That's going around too because why? Because you can't, you can't intellectualize this. It is an experience. It's even such an experience that your mind will almost talk you out of it. Don't let that happen. Don't let other people talk you out of it. Some of you are feeling a connection that's deeper than it has been before. That's another way that you know. How do you bring that up where it needs to be and into your physical life? That is what I'm here to help with. So along with some of this cosmic history, let's say we have someone and, you know, there they are. And they're in a relationship, but you have one that says, you know, I don't know what it is with you. I love you, but, oh, there you go. The buts. I love you, but, okay, let's keep going. I love you, but every time that we argue, it's like I see my father. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Cosmic level healing. Who was this man in a past life? He's pretty sharp looking, but if she's feeling something, and then is she going to talk herself out of it? Tune in for the next episode. Okay. Or what if you have I love you. But now there's two of you. Door number one, door number two, door number one, door number two. How did it get to be like this? Door number one, door number two. Cosmic love triangles, cosmic healing, okay? Who are these people that feel like something? Dun, 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 okay. And how is she gonna get this to the new level? And pick the right bachelor. It's like that game from the 60s, mystery date. <gasps> Who is it? Who can it be? All right. The heart knows. And there's ways to bring it out. What if she says to herself, but I have a child. What about me and my child? What about me and my child? Will he really love me and my child? I mean, I'm a package deal, but it just so happens he's expecting a package deal because he has been dreaming her child. That actually happens, ladies and gentlemen. The twin, the true twin, will actually get a smattering of information which lets them know, and furthermore, the emotion of it, the sentiment. Not just mental information, not just going, oh my gosh, there's a child there, okay? He's not going to be an old school or old dimensional stepfather. He is the other divine parent. So when you have people that they're not sure, okay, because they're trying to do this with their mind, they're trying to do it by... You know, maybe you're coming in from different streams of awareness. You know, maybe some astrology speaks to you. Maybe, you know, somebody went to a psychic who told you a few things. Maybe you heard the words or it came up on your feed. Whatever way you landed here, 
okay? You're here for a reason. It's not to give up. It's not to roll over and play dead. It is sometimes paying attention to the small, finer details of your life. That's something about this Venus retrograde energy is that it's intended to help you with the finer details, which can be a refinement of something that's already in place, or it could be just, hey, pay attention to this or get this or that done, get some paperwork done, get the, review that contract, get a second opinion on something, go look at a few more apartments or houses, don't accept that job, okay? There are reasons for this, and it may be very mentally confusing at times, and there's reasons for that, because this area here is undergoing a lot of transformation, a lot. So when you're talking about how do you navigate, how are you a fifth dimensional being, okay, you're still living here, it gets navigated from right above you, you have to be proactive about getting reintegrated, and maintaining. So, which brings me to um, what I have to offer here. In California, I will be there October 26th to the 29th teaching a subtle body class. It is a, the initial one. We're going to, for three and a half days, cover quite a bit of information and giving you a certificate on that when you join. The link is below to reserve your spot. It's in Los Angeles at the Gateway in Culver City, which is in Los Angeles. So if you're in California, if you're in Southern California, if you're in Arizona, it's an easy thing. The plane ticket wasn't that bad for me. And I hope to see you there. I will be having other classes. I haven't set them up yet. I will be having some here in Chicago. I do new online webinars every month. Now here's what I want to tell you about the new level. This is going to be highly energetic because you haven't really been able to connect the subtle body or subtle bodies in the same way last year, not the year before, not five years ago. This year is different. I told you at the beginning of the year that 2017 was going to be very different, and I meant it. And it, part of that is for the better, which means it's accessible. What has not been accessible before is now accessible after the lion's gate for many people. And for some people, after about this, the middle part of this month. I also do energy or causal body sessions. I do them online or in person here in Chicago. I will be um, available in California about this. Also, now that you are new, I'm going to say something to you to prep you. At every change of the season, you should consider, either with me or someone else in your area, get some energy work done. Okay? Get something done that helps your body. Acupuncture or energy work would be appropriate for you. Take the plunge on it. You're worth it. Okay? Every season. That's four times a year. If you're just sufficing with just a reading, okay, I don't leave people at just a reading. Yeah, I do readings. I do. But I'm here to do more than that. And it's time, meaning it's now accessible to you. So let's put it this way. You've maybe heard of aromatherapy, okay? How would aromatherapy be effective? It's through your subtle body. Okay, how could you walk into a room? It's through your subtle body and where you sense or you feel or you smell, okay? Some of you have heightened senses. Some of you have your senses so heightened, you're highly empathic and it's disturbing for you. It disrupts your nights. It disrupts your life. It disrupts really what you're here for, which is to be in love. You feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders and it hurts. And I understand that. And I help people with that. How do you stop being the highly sensitive person or the empath? Okay, Because those are a real thing. You're not imagining it. Those are real. But when does it cease? Okay, A lot of it, the door closed on that at the Lion's Gate this year. Okay, It's been closing actually the past two years. 
Okay. Boom. Okay. The big door finally closed in and around August. Some of you felt it in July even. So come and join either my webinar, my class, or have an energy or causal body session. If you're not sure with your twin flame, start with the reading. I get quite a bit of information for you through guidance. And I also get you to feel. And in these, I get you to help shift things. Okay. This is intended right now to supplement whatever else is you, you are doing, but then gradually maintain you. Okay. Maintenance means preventing. Maintaining means preventing you from going backwards. That the healing that you do actually is maintained. And yes, you will be healing from things. There's a lot of people that don't believe it, but people are doing it. I can tell you that for sure. So thanks so much for watching. And the links are down below. Reach out to me or check out my website where you can schedule twinflamesmerge.com or twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of the day. And... Let me get the mouse here. Bye.